Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Warframe video. I'd like to start this video with an important piece of information that many people may not be aware of. Following the recent Arcane buffs, Arcane Aegis at rank 0 now provides the same shield gating effect as rank 5 Arcane Aegis, lasting for 12 seconds. While the amount of shield recharge differs, it doesn't matter since most builds use this Arcane for shield gating, where the rank doesn't have a significant impact. This arcane even works with overshields and during the 1.3 seconds of shield gating when our shields run out. Once it triggers, you won't die for a full 12 seconds. Today, I'm going to showcase my favorite mag prime build, which includes Breach Surge, Wisp's Helmet ability, in place of the first ability. This significantly boosts our damage potential and provides a decent layer of survivability by blinding enemies. Breach Surge is one of the very few abilities that affect overguard enemies. This build can obliterate everything, even without weapons, and scales quite nicely too. You can melt these level 150 corrupted heavy gunner steel path units using just your ability. We're using Mag's fourth ability Augment, Fracturing Crush, as it completely strips armor with 134% ability strength. If paired with Corrosive Projection, you'll only need 110% ability strength. This ability also offers a bit of crowd control and replenishes our overshields. The description of this augment is quite amusing, as it claims that enemies cannot move, which is true, even for Eximus units, but they can still fully attack after getting up from the ground. Mag's third ability replenishes our shields, but do not provide overshields, removes a bit of enemy armor or shields, and deals true damage equivalent to the armor or shield removed to enemies. It also creates shards that deal slash and puncture damage with a 100% status chance. Their damage also scales with the amount of armor or shield removed. These shards are gathered by our second ability, Magnetize, which collects all these shards and nearby enemies into one large bubble. These shards then continuously damage enemies within the bubble, which eventually explodes, dealing 25% of the absorbed damage to all nearby enemies. We're going to use the second ability Augment, Magnetize Discharge, as it will give us a 69% chance to disarm hit enemies and provides us with the option to nuke our bubbles at will. It also provides us with an additional 45% range. This extends our bubble's explosion range to match our Breach Surge and Crush ability. You don't want too much range on these two abilities because it will make enemies stand farther away, and the bubble won't be able to hit them. That's why, in my opinion, this augment is better than stretch. Take a look at how easily I can delete corrupted Vor using our magnetized bubble explosion after stripping his armor. You know how easily an acolyte can kill you after placing its magnetized bubble on you, unless you roll quickly to remove it. Now it's time for revenge. I'm also using the new Deviri Arcane called Primary Obstruct here for a little more survivability. It jams enemy weapons for approximately 4 seconds within a 15 meter radius and has a 10 second cooldown. It's not necessary, but since I had it and this build doesn't require more damage, I thought, why not? Let's move on to the build now. I am using 5 yellow shards, which grant me a total of plus 100% casting speed and plus 50% effectiveness on energy orbs. I am using Equilibrium here because I'm pairing it with a Panzer Vulpifilla with the Synth Mod set, which allows for continuous energy regeneration. Along with the Arcane Steadfast, you won't have any energy troubles. If you happen to have Arcane Energize, use that instead of Steadfast. You can use Streamline instead of Equilibrium if you plan on using this without a Panzer Vulpifilla. Adaptation works well for up to 20 to 30 minutes solo steel path. For longer runs, use Rolling Guard instead. Here is my Panzer Vulpifilla build for Mac. Remember, the order of the first three mods matters, so try to keep it this way. Thanks for watching, guys. Kindly like the video so I can reach a wider audience and hopefully work on it full time someday. Have a wonderful day.